Etiquette for Online Gatherings With meetups being mostly online these days, whether you're on Zoom, Google Hangouts, Messenger, or whatever platform, we must remember the importance of respect and courtesy. The challenge these days for social gatherings online is the fact that not everybody can be speaking all at the same time. Also, when you're conversing within a certain room or group, you can't be in another one obviously at the same time. This reminds us of the importance of scheduling appointments and blocking off schedules. If you're already blocked for a certain time, those who come in next will have to understand that they will have to come after that meeting is over. It reinforces the respect of someone else's time. If they're occupied, you can't just barge in just because you want to. You will have to wait for your turn. For today, let's discuss etiquette for online work meetings. Invitation and scheduling. It's important to schedule and send an invite. If you're the recipient, make sure you RSVP. You have to be able to tell them if you're available or not for that time. Preparation. Check your internet prior to connecting. In the event that you have trouble connecting, if something needs to be done like restart your router or check with your provider, the lead time will allow you to inform your team about it. Make an effort to look presentable. It's perfectly understandable that we're mostly in our homes, but that doesn't mean that you dress sloppily. You can go on full workplace OOTD if you prefer, but if you're working from home and you have meetings especially, please make sure that you comb your hair, that you brush your teeth and wash your face. Don't look like you just rolled out of bed because you don't want to be wasting anyone's time meeting preparation is important an agenda has to be prepared because the meeting can't just go on randomly what will the meeting be about today what needs to be decided upon the time allotments also have to be there if you're presenting make sure your presentation slides are ready and you've rehearsed them time yourself as well because you don't want to be eating up a huge chunk of the meeting time especially if there are other people presenting with you assign roles even if it's an online meeting Thing, assign someone to be taking the minutes and do a recap because if you just go on meeting without any direction or commitments there is no way of tracking who's supposed to do what what's supposed to be done until the next time that you have another meeting when you're in the meeting listen well and wait for your turn to speak I've had times where in in a meeting I want to say something or comment on a presentation what I have found very effective is waiting for the presenter to pause or when he asks do you have any questions that is a good cue for you to come in. You can also make use of the chat feature or reactions to express your intent to speak. Be mindful of your face and what you do with your hands, your hair, whatever. Don't pick on your ears, pick your nose, or pick on your teeth while you're in a meeting. It's just inappropriate to do those grooming and hygiene things when you're in a meeting. Of course, we've heard and seen this being passed online. If it isn't your turn to speak, mute your microphone. You don't want your ambient noise to distract the other people in the meeting. Be mindful of the microphone's distance from your mouth and nose. Hearing heavy bursts of breath through the microphone can be very bothersome, especially for those who are wearing their earphones or headsets during the meeting. If you need a bathroom break, make sure that you're quick and inform the participants via chat. Turn off your camera and mute your microphone first. This is to avoid accidental shows like a family member walking in front of your screen without pants on or private home conversations being heard by those in your meeting just because you kept your mic on. It is also advised that you do not bring your phone or laptop with you during your bathroom break. There have been recorded Zoom meetings I've seen on YouTube where some meeting participants were caught doing the number two in the bathroom because they took their gadgets with them them during a meeting how long it's been versus like some other professions say a few years or whatever social work kind of has very high standards and and like <laughs> If you schedule a meeting and send an invite but do not show up, that's a no-no. Especially if you belong to different time zones, people clear their schedules and they adjust whether they stay up till dawn or wake up really early just to make it to that online meeting. It's disappointing when people allot time for it and when they wait, 
they go online, nobody shows up. Now let's talk about etiquette for online social gatherings. These can be a little more casual and laid back. Here in the Philippines, it's called the online inuman drinking session, which doesn't necessarily have to involve alcohol, but you get the point. It's an online catch-up among family, loved ones, or friends. A lot of things from the online work meetings can also be applied here, like being mindful of your microphone, putting yourself on mute when you're not speaking. When it comes to conversations during social gatherings like these, what would be good? to keep in mind. Be mindful of your topics or questions. In the same way that you would in physical social gatherings, you don't put people on the spot with invasive or embarrassing questions or topics. Don't start fights by pitting people and their opinions against each other. Don't discuss private matters, especially when there are a lot of people involved. Remember, you are not entirely sure if there's someone who's secretly recording the conversation and private details might leak. Avoid asking questions about someone else's sex life, someone's reproductive health, why they don't have children yet, how much money they're making, private details of someone's health because it's inappropriate to stick your nose into private matters and you don't want to be starting gossip especially if there are other people in the conversation for both types of online gatherings if you must leave say goodbye and inform them properly don't just ghost them and then close the window without the word so there you have it, etiquette tips for online gatherings and meetings. I hope that you get to apply these for work and if you need your team to learn from this, please feel free to share the video as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be teachable, keep learning, and always be humble.